Flash flooding made it difficult for people to get around this afternoon. The rainstorms came as many in Delco continued to clean up from last night's storms. CBS Philadelphia reporter Carrie Corrado checked in to see how everything is going now. We went back to some of the areas that were damaged by the recent storms to see how cleanup was going. Crews were continuing to fix power lines and clear trees. CBS News Philadelphia met Mark Angst in Delco Monday night after a tree came crashing down in his backyard. He was eating dinner with his family when the storm hit and the tree snapped. I started to hear the crackling and down came the tree. The massive tree missed his home but smashed his car and did some damage to his garage. A day later, this is what his yard looked like. Cleanup was well underway and the sound of chainsaws rang through Ridley Park in Woodland. Durr. Very hard workers and they're doing a great job. Unks got some help from Tree State Property Maintenance out of Delaware County. They got, got the chipper going, feeding it with all the branches. The phone's been ringing off the hook and we've been taking trees off of houses from cars to all the way down to a fence. While some were cleaning up, others dealt with flash flooding. In Lower Moreland, a car was being pulled out of a creek and cars were stuck in the water near Philmont Avenue. And in Abington, this car was submerged in flood water at Old York Road and Rockwell Avenue. All across the region, residents looking to get a break from the storms. I got like uh, three or four pines left, uh, you know, and there's pines over in the next yard, which I have. So. You know, it's always, when there's winds, it's always a scary feeling because you start to hear branches crackling and you're just hoping, you know, one don't come down. It's been a working progress to clean up all the damage from the recent storms. Crews are continuing little by little to make their way around Montgomery and Delaware County. Kerry Corrado, CBS News, Philadelphia.